and uh, where you know we're back you're listening to the talking boxing with billy c show glad you could join us don't forget to check out the website www.billycboxing.com for all your latest uh, news and information and we would appreciate it if you would follow us on twitter it's at talking boxing here here let me spell it for you it's at you know the little at sign talking boxing t-a-l-k-i-n-b-o-x-i-n-g okay here we go i've been teasing you all show long right and an hour went by and i haven't said it um i am announcing right now a new segment um you've heard of the nielsen ratings and stuff well we got the billy c ratings this is a new segment it's called billy c's TV broadcast review for, for boxing, okay? I have come up with a system that I am going to start beginning with this past week. This is the first year. We're kicking off a lot of stuff for 2015 that I'm going to start uh, reviewing based on a point system what I feel uh, is the TV broadcast from top to bottom of shows, boxing events that we're watching on TV. For an example, I have five judging criteria I'm going to judge these events on, number one, the quality of the main event. Number two is the quality of the undercard. Now, this is based on what we're watching on TV, so I'm not going to package in a really horrific undercard that none of us got to see. I'm going to strictly be doing this for television entertainment value. This is what they keep cramming down our throat, right? There, Nobody has been uh, privy or subjected to any kind of ranking about the job that they've been doing. We've been complaining on this show about Showtime sucking wind and this one not doing good and that one not doing good. Well, now we're going to do it. We're going to be giving a, a rating for these events, okay? So quality of main event is number one. Quality and undercard is number two. Number three, the quality of the crowd and the excitement of the crowd. Now, this is based on, you know, how many times do we see people dressed as empty seats? That's not going to score well. You know, if the crowd is there and you can hear, you know, uh, somebody drop their, their pen and hit the floor during the broadcast, you know nobody's jacked up. If you hear a lot of people screaming and going crazy and there's a lot of fan base, you know, that's going to be better with that score. My fourth judging criteria is the officials' performance. Finally, we make these bozos, you know, uh, come to terms with what they're doing. Are they doing a good job? Are they not doing a good job? Let's let them, you know, uh, be responsible uh, for what they're doing. And five, my last, uh, uh, my last judging criteria is the commentators' performance. Overall, was were they entertaining? Were they informative? Et cetera, et cetera. Now. What I'm going to do is we're going to, based on this, we are going to end up with an overall uh, score. Now, the way the point system works is that I am scoring each of the judging criteria, all five, uh, from zero to five. Zero equals garbage. It was garbage. I was throwing up, okay? It was garbage. N number one, if you get scored a one, it's poor. Number two is unsatisfactory. Number three, if you get a three, that's satisfactory. Eh, it wasn't great. It wasn't bad. It's satisfactory. Four, if you get a four ra rating, that's very good. And, of course, number five is excellent, okay? Excellent. And the, the way the formula works is you take the total number of the points generated by the five judging criteria and divide by five, and we will get an overall production score for the event, which we will round off. So, you know, 3.2 is equal to a satisfactory rating of three. 3.5 or 3.6 would be a very good rating, okay? So with that said, to kick off 2015 with our first three major televised events this is what i have scored and by the way you will be able to find these uh on a regular basis on uh on billycboxing.com we're going to set up a uh, a spot on the website for you to look at these and then as time goes on we're going to give you that network's current score so it's all going to be relative you know the more uh, shows a, a, a network puts on the better chance they have of a solid score whether it be good or bad all right um, what's your thoughts on this idea? Give me a call, 845-228-8710. Here's how I saw the first three broadcasts of 2015. First and foremost, let's talk about the ESPN broadcast. Uh, the main event uh, on that one was, uh, which one was that? That was the uh, 
Uh, that was the... Uh, well, how come I can't find it here? That was the... Um, oh, that was the Darley Perez, okay? Um, that score, uh, for the quality of the main event, I gave it a four. I thought that... The fight itself was entertaining. I, I, you know, I, I, I did. I thought it was an entertaining fight. It's, it had its peaks and valleys. I, I thought it was a very good main event. All right, number two, which was the quality of the undercard, it sucked. There wasn't any uh, other fight on that card that was worthy. I scored it a two. Uh, I, it was an unsat- unsatisfactory uh, score, in my opinion, unsatisfactory undercard. Um, the third criteria, which is the quality of the crowd from this event, I'm going to give it a, uh, a, 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 a three, a satisfactory. I mean, I can't, you know, I really didn't get a good gist of it, and I'm not going to, you know, just find ways to give negative scores. And on the other side, I'm not going to find ways to give positive scores. So I, I'm going to have to give that an average. That's a three. For the uh, official's performance, I give that a three. Uh um, you know, a couple of the judges' cards were a little out of whack, but whatever. I give it a three. And finally, uh, the commentator performance, I, I score that a two. Now, now Teddy was solid. Teddy was Teddy. I'm not taking anything away from Teddy. But Todd Grisham, he's awful, man. He's awful. You know, I, I don't know what the suits uh, at ESPN see in him, but I thought he was awful. But forget him. The other guy, the guy in studio, I single-handedly got them the un, uh, the unsatisfactory ranking, in my opinion. This guy is a, clearly not a boxing guy. His interview with Stavern was atrocious. He didn't know what even to ask him. Uh, he, he cut off Stavern a couple of times. I know Stavern's a tough interview. But the worst thing that bothered me the most is he got the statistics wrong. He got the facts wrong. He says, oh, you're a, you're a favorite uh, in, uh, uh, in Vegas. Stavern's not the favorite. He's the underdog. Wilder's the favorite, and Wilder has been a favorite since the line came out. So, you know, he gets a two. If you add it all up, it comes out to be 14, which, uh, according to my, uh, um, you know, calculations, comes out to be an overall ranking of 2.8, which is uh, below satisfied, okay? 2.8 is below satisfied, but we round it off uh, to uh, satisfy because it, it, it finished off above uh, 2.5. So it was a satisfied broadcast. And the only reason it was a satisfied broadcast, let's be real, if it wasn't for the main event, this thing would have fell way short. So ESPN's broadcast, according to the new uh, Billy C. Broadcast, uh, Billy C. Boxing TV broadcast reviews, I'm giving uh, a uh, 2.8, which is a satisfactory on ESPN's broadcast. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. 845-228-8710. As far as Showtime's broadcast, um, the uh, number one, the quality in the main event, I give that a two. That was extremely unsatisfactory. It was a one-sided blowout. We don't want to see that in the main event. We could live with that as the undercard like we did with the, with the ESPN event, but we can't possibly be expected to live with that as a main event, especially on a premier cable network like Showtime. I scored it a two. As far as the quality of the undercard, that two. They all sucked. Two. I scored them a two. As far as uh, the uh, third, which was the quality of the crowd, Listen, not only were there was nobody there, it was a teeny little venue. I, you, you could see there was like, what, five, ten rows at the most. Uh, there was no excitement. You could hear a pin drop in there. I score that a two, uh, unsatisfactory. As far as the judges, uh, I, you know, I, I tried to find a positive thing with the way the judges worked in that fight and the, and the referees. I, nobody did a, a horrific job. But the judges, specifically in the Atlantis Fox fight, were, they were all over the place. They they were totally all over the place in that, and and I thought that it was it was terrible. And as a result, I scored it. Uh, uh, I gave him a three. I gave him a three as a satisfactory. It was a feel sorry for him score. Um, and finally, uh, as far as the commentator performance, I, I give it. Uh, I gave it a, a three. I gave it a satisfactory. I happen to like Barry Tompkins. Uh, I like Steve Farhood. Um, you know, they were doing the best they could with a t- horrific show in front of them. Uh, so when you total that up, it comes out to 11 points, uh, which uh, averages out to 2.2, which rounded off uh, is uh, a unsatisfied uh, TV production by Showtime. And finally, 
the Fox broadcast, uh, the quality of the main event, I liked it, except it, like we had an, an email, it was a little bit uh, boring. Uh, I give it a satisfactory. I, you know, I give it a satisfactory. It went the distance. It, it really wasn't, you know, it was tough to watch, but I'm not going to beat him up with an unsatisfied. It was a satisfied main event. As far as the undercard, I liked the undercard. Uh, the undercard was uh, uh, another satisfied uh, three. I scored it. As far as uh, the quality of the crowd and excitement, listen, you got to give it a five. You got to give it a five. There's no question about that. They uh, added some stuff. I love the black uh, canvas. I love that the whole the whole feel of of that event. Uh, they clearly got a five as far as I'm concerned with the uh, uh, quality of the crowd and the excitement. As far as the officials' performance, I give them uh, a satisfactory. Uh, nobody did anything terrible. Nobody did anything uh, super great either. And as far as uh, the commentator performance, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you this. I was the guy who bashed the living hell out of Gus Johnson when he was with Showtime. And an immediate change was his next performance on Showtime. He, he totally did a good job. He was yelling and screaming, if you remember the first time. When he came back to Showtime, he did a good job. Then they fired him, and they bring back uh, the guy that they got now, who I think is the worst uh, boxing commentator ever in Mario Ranallo. However, Gus Johnson uh, and uh, uh, his uh, co-host, which was Rich Murata, on Friday night, did a great job, in my opinion. I thought Gus Johnson, in my opinion, Gus Johnson has has catapulted himself uh, up into the top upper echelon uh, of commentators. I scored a five. When you add it all up, it comes out to be a total of 19, averages out to 3.8, which means it was a very good uh, uh, broadcast. That's my scores uh, on the first three uh, broadcasts of the year. I hope you like it. I got a caller right now. Well, Nobody Mr. here. Andy? What's up, man? No. Nobody here. You talking to me or you talking to somebody else? Hey, what are you on. doing, man? Sorry. I got to go. What would you say? I'm ready to hang up on you. You going to talk to me or you oh, talking right? to somebody else? Okay, sorry. No, I had a call at the, at the time that I'm talking to you. Well, uh, that's that's all. I'm sorry, Billy C., that, damn man. it. Don't be, don't be taking other calls while you're on hold for me, man. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, no, no problem, man. What's your, thoughts I, of, I what, just, what, what's your thoughts on my new segment, man? I think your new segment's great, man. I you, think it's great. Good. You like it. Good, good. You I think, 